Hey friends and welcome to today's Money Monday video. Today is Money Monday when we talk about all the money things, I try and give you guys some advice, share the money mistakes that my husband and I have made, and encourage you along your financial journey. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video where I'm sharing with you three money mistakes we almost made and one that we did make. Let's get started. All right, friends, so if you are new here, welcome, and thank you so much for checking out this video. If you are coming back, thank you again for being here. I'm super excited to share with you guys this video. This is something that was a little bit difficult to kind of think back on, but as I was thinking back on our financial journey and where we started when we really first sat down and we're willing to look at our financial problems right in the face and really confront them and decide to make a plan to move forward, there were quite a few things that we almost did, um, big mistakes we almost made leading up to that time. Now, a couple of these happened right before we decided to revamp our finances and really get a handle on our financial life, um, but one of them happened quite a few years before. Um, one happened right as we were getting married and basically after we had gotten married, but just as we were newlyweds. So before I get started, we started our Dave Ramsey journey almost two years ago at this time. So we had been married for a little bit over a year, just about a month over a year. And the really big thing that catapulted us into needing to change our finances and change our financial future was the fact that we had taken an anniversary trip and we had put it all on credit cards for the most part. We did spend a little cash, um, but for the most part we used a credit card and I just we just thought that was normal. Um, I, you know, presented my husband with the idea and he said, yeah, that sounds great. Like it was just totally normal for us to do that uh, because we had seen other people or we had either seen or assumed that that's how other people were living. And so that just made sense for us to live that way too. So on that trip was really when we got a big wake up call. Um, I remember checking our bank account about a few days into the trip or a few days before the end of the trip and realizing that we were literally broke and I had like creditors calling um, us for like co to collect debts and we were on vacation so it was a terrible terrible moment and just a really scary thing to realize as you are like just you know in the lap of luxury realizing that you're living a life that you really can't afford so a couple of things that we almost did as we started this transition from being flat broke to deciding to really build a financial future and a healthy, um, yeah, a healthy financial future for our family and for ourselves moving forward. So all of the mistakes I'm going to share with you guys that we almost made happened pre-Dave Ramsey journey. So the very first one that we almost made was getting a payday loan. Now this happened at a time when we were making very little money. Um, we were both working super hard but just earning very, very little. And so I remember thinking, well, if we could just get like an extra paycheck or if we could just get our paycheck a little bit early, then that would really help us and that would help us to be able to pay some of these bills. So maybe that's something we should look into. I've always seen commercial for these things and ads and so I know they're out there what does this actually look like and so I started to do some research and thank goodness that I did the research and I really decided to use common sense rather than just what was comfortable at the time because as I was looking I realized that the amount of money that you have to pay back was just like insurmountable and I knew that if we were struggling a few days prior to getting our actual paycheck, if we were to receive this money as a loan, I had no idea how we'd be able to pay it back later. So I decided that wasn't the best option for us and to not go through with that. Now, post Dave Ramsey, when you start the baby steps, your step number one is to establish a $1,000 emergency fund. And for some families, that is not enough. So sometimes you do have to add to that emergency fund or start out with a little bit larger of an emergency fund. But it's really a baby emergency fund to get you through those emergencies. So if we had started the Dave Ramsey system and once we did start following Dave Ramsey's advice, we were able to build that emergency fund and we knew that if something happened between paycheck, we would be able to use that emergency fund to use the cash that we had saved up to cover any needs in between and not owe anyone any extra money. So that was really a saving grace for us and I'm so glad that we didn't go down that route. I am absolutely not judging anyone who has. We've done lots and lots of crazy money mistakes. So if you have done something that I'm going to mention don't feel badly we all have a different journey and we're all learning from our journeys and choosing to do better and to move forward in a healthier way so money mistake number two that we almost made and this one was almost seriously seriously happening was we almost filed for bankruptcy 
Now this was again in the same time period before we committed to Dave Ramsey's process and the, the baby steps, but we were looking at our finances. We had more that was owed or more that needed to go out than what we were making, and it just didn't seem like we would ever be able to get to a place of sending more out the door than we were actually bringing in the door. And so we looked at each other and said, well, I mean, people do file bankruptcy for this kind of an issue, so maybe that's something we should look into. We even started calling people and doing, again, more research. I'm totally a researcher, and so I started looking into it and seeing what our options could be and what it would mean if we filed bankruptcy. And again, spoke to several people in our families, actually, who filed and got their opinions on it and what they thought we should do. In the end, of course, we decided not to file bankruptcy. We did find Dave Ramsey's system shortly after that, and again, we were able to really see that this plan could work for us if we were willing to put in the work. and run at the fast, hard pace that it requires in the beginning in order to get to a point later on that we would be grateful for and to choose a step that we would be thankful that we had chosen rather than regretful later. So again, bankruptcy is something we almost did. It was definitely on our radar. It's not, I think it's, I don't think it's something to be ashamed of. It's, I think it's something that if it's your last resort, it's your last resort. And it's something that you can rebuild from and that you can choose to start again after you've gone through that process, but it's not, the only option. And so that's one thing I would encourage you because if you are sitting there and you're looking at your finances and thinking, there's no way we can possibly do this, there's no way I can see a way out of it, we were there. We were totally there with you. We know what that feels like. It's a scary place to be in. It is a frustrating place to be in because you feel like you're working so incredibly hard and you're not getting anywhere. But I promise you that Dave Ramsey's plan or works. It just, it works. And it's real people putting in the work and doing the hard hours and doing the things that are hard and living like no one else will live right now in order to one day live like no one else can live later. So number three money mistake that we almost made was buying a house too early. Now this almost happened right after we got married. We were newlyweds and we were looking for apartments and considering changing apartments because of the rent that was increasing and coworkers and family members were telling us to just buy a house, just go buy a house and you guys will be in such better financial shape. You won't be throwing money away in rent, right? You'll be putting money into um, equity. You'll be building up equity and, and you'll have a home to live in. And my husband and I went to um, a loan officer, spoke with them. We applied for home loans and thankfully, this is totally the hand of God, but we, we were denied our home loans. And that is a huge blessing now that I can see at the time it was so discouraging and upsetting. Um, even now it's kind of caused us to rethink the home buying process and what that will even look like eventually for us when we do go down that journey. But it's also given us a lot of peace and the realization that God's timing is truly the best and that that was not his timing. That was not in his timing and if that had happened at that time, we would have been in total financial ruin. We probably would have ended up foreclosing on our house because again, we didn't know how to handle the money that we were being given. And so we didn't have a good foundation of money. We didn't have any savings. We didn't have a down payment. We had nothing. And so we were going to go in for one of those loans that is like, I don't know, it's like 3% down and, um, you know, it, it's just like very minimal um, payments, but then you're stuck with paying this large amount over a long period of time. And one thing that we've started doing is actually looking at model homes just to really get an understanding of what we like in a home. But now it's been over two years later, it's actually been probably three years since that time, and literally the first time we went to look at model homes, I looked at my husband and I said, wow, if we had purchased a home three years ago, it would have been a completely different home than the home that we would be purchasing today. And we're obviously not buying a house right now, it's just something we're enjoying doing and enjoying getting some thoughts and seeing what we do like and what's out there and the areas that we are enjoying in our area that we live in. But if we had purchased a house, it would have been a huge disaster for us, truly. It would have been a major mistake because we weren't ready, we weren't prepared, we didn't have a foundation, we didn't have an emergency fund, and so we know that our home would not have been a blessing, um, it would have been a burden. And we want our home, when we do purchase one, to be a huge blessing, not only to ourselves, but also to our family, and to be able to still live a life that we love, and a life on less, but in a home as well. So thankfully we did not make that mistake, and of course with Dave Ramsey's plan, we know now that we need to have a good set emergency fund in place, we need to have a 
hefty down payment in place in order to buy a home or when we're going to buy a home. And then we'll also have a good amount of savings for things that we want to purchase and things that we want to add into the home. But we won't go into consumer debt to do that. We will obviously be getting a home loan, but we won't be going into more consumer debt to buy furniture and things like that. Alright guys, and as one added bonus, I do want to share one mistake that we have made and that we are slowly digging our way out of, and that is getting a car loan. Now, as I've shared, when we began our financial journey, my car was repossessed, uh, which was really, really hard, really discouraging, and something that really was our rock bottom. That was truly the moment where we realized, okay, something has to change. This is not how we want to live. So at that time, we were able to borrow a car from a family member, but there came a point a few months later where we were no longer able to borrow that car. We had just begun the baby step process, and so we really weren't at a place to put a bunch of money away um, into savings or towards a car fund. We had a little bit set aside um, from like our tax refund in order to put down a little bit of a down payment on a car. And so that was the option that we chose. We, so we did end up going for a good used car that we could put a down payment on. We knew the payments would be manageable for us and that we were determined to also get paid off early. Uh, but it was also a car that we knew would be able to carry into like having a family and going on trips and different things like that. And so something that we are are absolutely loving. It's something that we would not do again necessarily like in the same way but it's something that we're super grateful for um, and that we know will be a blessing to us and we're excited to get it paid off early so that we can just get all of our debt done and out of the way. So that is one thing that we've done that is not per Dave Ramsey's um, suggestions or recommendations but it's something that for our family it just made the most sense and for my husband um, this is the car that I drive primarily and as a husband you know he would be very very worried if I was driving around a clunker because I do drive to get to work I, I drive the furthest um, commute for work and so I know that he would not have peace of mind if I were driving around a clunker that was about to fall apart so for him this is the best option for us and as his wife, I'm totally happy to obviously drive a car that is a little bit nicer and sturdier. <laughs> so definitely not a, a bad thing for us. It does add to our financial journey and add to our baby step number two process, but it's something that, again, we're willing to make the sacrifice and willing to say, okay, this is a little bit of a compromise, but we're still going to follow these principles in order to build a healthy financial future for our family. So guys, those are three money mistakes that we almost made prior to Dave Ramsey and one mistake or challenge that we have opposed during the baby step process. So I would love to know what are some money mistakes that you almost made or if you have made something that Dave Ramsey would consider a money mistake, definitely let us know in a comment below and also tell us how you are getting yourself out of that or what your plan is to continue on with the baby steps despite making that choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Monday and a great week and I will talk to you very soon.